Good morning, rise and shine. I've been raiding my closet to see if I can find things that fit, and I found this one. It's a little big, but hey, it still looks okay. It still looks okay, and it's it's one of those shirts that kind of swags and hangs pretty. And anyway, I'm finding me some clothes. I'm mining my own closet, and I'm getting rid of five. Th Every time I go to the closet, I get rid of five things. I've got three bags now to get rid of. And it's a fun day. It is a fun day. I'm telling you. Robert is making me a cup of coffee. Maybe I'll get him to wave at y'all when he brings me my coffee. <laughs> we'll see. He's. Uh, I wanted another cup of coffee today. You know, coffee does what coffee's supposed to do. And I kind of need that to happen. <laughs> Anyway, that's TMI, too much information. It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday, and guess what that means? Friday, Friday, it's the weekend. And what are you going to do for fun this weekend? Do you know yet? Do you know what's for date night? Do you know what's um, what you're going to do tomorrow for family fun day? What are you going to do? Let's get some stuff on the calendar. Let's... If it's on the calendar to get done. So folks, uh, let me, it's hard to look at myself with my hair sticking out the sides. So everybody, let's, I said the word. I'm trying to not say everybody. But that's hard. It's hard when it's part of your vocabulary and you've been saying it for two years now. <laughs> so um, let's clean out our purses, everyone. Yep, I changed the word. Let's clean out our purses. Let's get our cars cleaned out today. But what I want to talk to you about is your holiday budget. Yep, I know you don't want to hear that. I know you don't want to hear anything about holiday budgets. But go download your holiday control journal. Let's get it in a office in a bag. And let's start you know thinking about today is budget day and i know you don't want to think about that ugly word but let's call it a stress-free new year this is what's going to keep us let's keep us ha keep us from having a stressful new year and i want to i want to play with you a little bit on uh, two years ago i kind of made a huge I looked at all the ingredients in the cookies that I like to make for gifts for the holidays. You know, I, I just looked at all of it and wanted to figure out how I could combine those recipes. And I did this thing. I did it in my book, The Chaos Cure. But I also did it in a couple of videos for you last year. And it just went out in an email just a few minutes ago. So you can can look I'm headed to Knoxville. That's fun. I'm gonna be headed to Knoxville next week. Thank praise the Lord that it's gonna happen. But I did some variations on um, roll dough. I did some variations on cookie dough, and even to the point of making brownies with cookie dough. So. It's fun. It's fun. So I like to play. I like to be experimental in the kitchen and and do some fun stuff. But I've got my holiday control journal out. And I want you to start gathering up your favorite recipes. Now, if you don't want to do three at a time, that's fine. That's, that's about, if you do three things of cookies... It could be as much as two to three hours in the kitchen. And if you don't have that kind of time, that's fine. But you could make one batch. You could make one batch of cookies and get them ready to go in your freezer. Or you could make two batches of those cookies. Let's just say you want to make chocolate chip cookies. You put the dough together. You make sure you have all the ingredients. Look in your pantry to see if you have all the ingredients to make those cookies. I like to use a lot of pecans during Christmas time, so I buy a five pound bag of pecans and I we keep pecans on hand all the time because it's a staple in Robert's diet. He needs the the 
fiber. And so he roast pecans. Last year I taught you how to roast pecans because roasted pecans in cookies are just much better than, than mushy pecans. So we've come up with a surefire way to roast pecans and you don't have to stand over the pecans nonstop. So that's in our videos from last year. There's a whole playlist on our videos and our cooking videos. So you can just look on our YouTube channel and it makes it so much. Uh, no, I'm not going to, you can't make keto friendly cookies. You just can't do it, but I don't have to eat the cookies, you know, but I can give the cookies away. So I don't have to eat the cookies, but, but you can't eat too many pecans. Here's the deal. You can't eat too many pecans, but I want to talk about today is if you want to spend a rainy day, Saturday baking cookies, how much fun is that? But you need everything in your house to do it. You need everything in your house to make that happen. I have one friend and she likes to make pound cakes for people. In fact, she has a business, used to have a business making pound cakes for people. And I ordered like 20 of them from her one year to give to people for Christmas. Because pound cake is a universal cake that you can do a million things with. But it's a good, solid cake. Uh-oh, I have coffee. Say hi to the ladies, honey. Hi, ladies. <laughs> he wouldn't come on camera. He's he's goofy like that. So I got my coffee. I got more coffee. Ooh, it's hot. We'll set it down right here. Well, see, 2.5 grams or less is still too many grams for a cookie. And cookies are addictive. But I want to talk about your holiday baking. You don't have to eat everything you cook for the holidays. You don't have to do this. And it's a good, um, it's good for you to practice. Last year, I made a whole casserole dish of macaroni and cheese. And I didn't eat any just it's just practice for me it's not setting me up for failure but i didn't need any but i wanted to show you how to make it so think about what your favorite cookie recipes are get them in your control journal and start putting those ingredients on your grocery list so that you have everything you need to make those items and the beauty of my cookie videos is you always start with an empty dishwasher. Empty dishwasher, fill your sink full of hot soapy water, and then you can start blending the dough together. And I love, better than anything, my KitchenAid stand mixer. I never had a stand mixer until about seven years ago. And somebody bought me one and I loved it. I loved it, but it was the wrong color. So I ended up giving that away, I think to my daughter-in-law or somebody. And I got me a red one because I like red. So I got this red mixer that makes me happy. And it's got this huge bowl with it, a glass bowl. I also have a stainless steel bowl. And when I get ready to bake cookies, I want to have everything in my pantry ready to go. So I order pecans. I get the chocolate chips on the grocery list and I can order chocolate chips too. I can order a five pound bag of chocolate chips. I get, make sure that I have, I need white sugar and I need, um, brown sugar for these cookies and it's eggs. I need eggs, brown sugar, Cinnamon, I like, sometimes I like to make snickerdoodles. Sometimes I like to make pecan sandies. And I get the dough going. I get the dough going. So, this is a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. Uh, and 
baking is one of those joys. And I sent, I've sent i sent out this morning a testimonial from somebody who did her cookie. She was used to making like 16 different types of cookies. And she realized that that was just too hard on her being a nurse and working 12 hour shifts. So she did one batch at a time and put them in the freezer and had them, she did the balls up and put them in the freezer. Or she, she did tubes and then she could just slice and bake the cookies. So folks, we can have fun with holiday baking, but we don't have to be do marathon baking to do it. We don't have to do that anymore because we can take baby steps, baby steps, and it's phenomenal because you can get the freezer dough, you can get the, the cookie dough in the freezer, in logs, roll it up into logs about this big and freeze it. And then all you got to do is slice and then take the circle and cut it into fours and put them on your cookie sheet. You don't even have to roll them up into balls. You don't have to do that. But it makes it so easy, so easy to get the kids in the kitchen. Now, also invest in some parchment paper for your cookie sheets. I have these cookie sheets that have an air layer in them that help the cookies to keep from burning on the bottom. And you don't want to get in a hurry baking cookies. You just, you don't want to do that. And you put, I put my cooling racks out and then all I do is slide my parchment paper over to the cooling rack. I don't even have to touch the cookies until they're cooled. And then I can plate them up. I got aluminum pans to put my cookies in with lids on them. How wonderful is that? So folks, there's some fun ways to do some holiday baking, but your kitchen has to be clean, your dishwasher has to be empty, your counters have to be cleared, and I have a cat, so I always start with my hot soapy water and wipe down and disinfect all my counters before I get into the kitchen and cook. And then I, with this dough in the freezer, it makes me want to go in there and start making, making dough right now. And just getting it in the freezer ready to go. Here it is, October the 25th. And I can have three different types of cookies dough in my freezer ready to go. Parchment paper, I get the sheets of parchment paper that are just the size of my cookie sheet. And you measure a cookie sheet. And my cookie sheets can't be put in water. They have to be washed on the surface. And it just changes everything because these are, and I use butter in my cookies. I don't use margarine. I don't use Crisco. I use butter. So folks, we can have some fun and we don't have to eat any of it. I mean, one of the things I learned many, many years ago when I first went to Overeaters Anonymous is not a bite, you know, not to take a bite or taste anything while you're cooking. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. And these cookie, this, your cookie recipes are tried and true. Butter is always better. And yuck, yuck, yuck on margarine. But please start doing this. Start putting these, your favorite stuff together and especially the cookies. Holiday cookies are so much fun and you, you can do it. You really can and you don't have to be stressed out. Think about, it's rainy here today. Think about going into your kitchen on a rainy day and putting this dough together and getting it in the freezer. It's that's, I got a video for you. Liz and Patty will post the links to it. It's on our cooking page. You, you can do a search on YouTube for Fly Lady Cookies and you'll, both of them come up. One of them is tips. Tips about easy cookie baking. And the other 
is about how I made three batches at one time. Three batches at one time. So it, it's it's fun. It's fun. And in being in your kitchen supposed to be fun. Every time we've ever gone to our kitchen, it's always like we're behind the eight ball. And when our kitchen is clean, it blesses us to get in there and create and have fun and enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. Just don't, you know, get all hung up on having to clean your kitchen up first before you can get in there and do anything. So let's have some fun. Let's have a lot of fun. And let's get some things done so we're not stressed out during the holidays. Now's the time. I mean, you could even put together some uh, Halloween cookies right now. You could make, grab your Halloween cookie cutters. and But cookie dough always needs to be chilled. Cookie dough always needs to be chilled before you cook cookies. Or they go, they just get flat and they all blend together. That's why I like to freeze the dough. And then you put it in the refrigerator to thaw up and then you slice it and then you do a one inch slice and then you quarter it. And there you got, you got cookies. And you can cut up three pieces, that's a dozen cookies, and just make them at random, at random. So you could make dough for three sets of cookies, and then you could probably put together the dough for another three sets. Yeah, six different kinds of cookies. It's easy. But baking cookies is one of those things that kids love to do. Uh, you can even bake gingerbread cookies. That's one of my one of the recipes I put together. Let's see, where is it? Gingerbread. I took um brown sugar and water and uh, butter and seven cups of flour, uh, one and a half cups of molasses, two teaspoons of ground ginger. And you can find some good cinnamon and cloves and you can put together a gingerbread dough and you get it in the refrigerator and then you can make gingerbread houses by making little squares and put, a, put them on your cookie sheet. Roll them out and put them on your cookie sheet. You can even get gingerbread house uh, cookie cutters. Yep, you can go on Amazon and find them right now to make gingerbread houses and make the gingerbread dough and be ready to go with it. This was, I did this dough one time and my grandchildren absolutely loved it. I've got pictures of Sarah with flour on her nose. We did a gingerbread bake-off at their house one time. So you can have fun. Just put together one, one batch of dough for the next, you know, two weekends. And look at what you've got. You've got it in the freezer. Think ahead. Just thinking ahead. I can't imagine what sugar-free sprinkles are. I just, that just grosses me out. I don't know what, why that grosses me out, but sugar-free sprinkles, I just can't even imagine what it's made of. Drink my coffee. Yeah, I think I need to drink my coffee. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, that's good coffee. My husband makes the best coffee in the whole wide world. Anyway, y'all have some fun today, and uh, just play. Have some fun and play. Why bother? I don't know what you're talking about, but, you know, if you're going to be negative on here, go away. Go away. I don't want any negativity here. We're going to have some fun, and if it's a rainy day, what better thing to do? What better, better thing to do is to just get in your kitchen. Don't eat any aspartame. That causes inflation, inflammation, y'all. Inflammation. Think about what, if you're going to make cookies, make them with sugar and be done with it. 
I mean, putting that fake stuff in you, I don't like. I don't like it at all. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Anyway, the real cookies are the best. <laughs> but I'm not eating. I didn't eat cookies last year either. I baked them, but I didn't eat them. So, folks, y'all have some fun today. Get some stuff on your grocery list that you're going to need for baking cookies. Let's get our cars cleaned out. I'm going to still keep digging, you know, mining away at my closet, getting rid of some clothes that don't fit me anymore. I'm folding them up, putting them in a bag, and they will be going away. Going away. And... You know, we're still in our master bedrooms this week. And then I have next week, we're going to be for four days. We're going to be in our living rooms and we're still getting rid of paper clutter. So Leanne cleaned her desk off yesterday. Yeah, I ragged on her yesterday, big time. She got her desk all cleaned off and that's good. So let's have some fun. So, you know, I only see one little one little comment at a time and when when you've commented on somebody else, you got to say what you're commenting on or I get all mixed up. So, I'll be on Leanne's show at one o'clock with her, not on the show, but I'll be there sharing her, her video and stuff and then um, it's Friday and then we'll be back here at, at tea time. I might make some cookies. Who knows? Got to make sure I got sugar in the pantry. <laughs> anyway, y'all don't forget about our sales. We got the multi one is half price. Get your calendars ordered. Getting this stuff ordered for Christmas presents. Think clutter free Christmas presents. Clutter free Christmas presents. And we can we can get some things out of the way. The per pink are a pack of these in your cart, and we're gonna send you a pack for free. Rubber scrubbers are on a bogo. Put one in your cart. We'll send you another. They make great stocking stuffers. Everybody uses a rubber scrubber. I keep one in every room in my house, and they're really great for cleaning dough bowls. If you're making a, a uh, yeast doughs and stuff for cinnamon rolls. Anyway, I love you all. I will see you at one o'clock and three o'clock. Talk to you later. <laughs>